Okay, hi there. So I'm going to show you how to do the fun zircon hat, beanie hat. And uh, the yarn I'm using is Charisma in the color black raspberry. And it's a number five yarn. And the loom I'm using is a three quarter inch gauge Cindy Wood loom. This one has 34 pegs. It's actually a youth hat loom, but it fits me great as a beanie hat because I have a very small head. You'd probably want a 36 peg and a three quarter inch or maybe even a 40 peg or a 42 peg. Okay, or you can use any loom you want actually for this brim and it will work out just fine. And um, the loom hook I'm using is a loom hook I got from a company no longer in business, but they're very similar hooks on Etsy. So you can get a hook that looks quite a bit like this. Okay. And um, I'm just going to get started and then I will show you how to do the brim we're doing. So I'll just put you on pause for a second. I'm going to show you how to do the orb stitch brim. So, just do a slip knot. And we just tighten that. And then we're going to take this loop. We take our loom hook. We've got this right here on the loom. We're going to take the loom hook, put it under, and we're going to take the working yarn and we're going to scoop up some yarn. And I'm going to keep the back of it nice and tight. And then we take this loop that we scooped up, put it behind the next peg, the working yarn through, and snug it up. Behind, working yarn through, and snug it up. And if any time you feel your loop is too big, you can make it bigger or smaller just by doing this. Okay? So tightening it up next. Put it behind and tighten it up, behind and tighten it up, behind and tighten it up. Just like this. And we just do that all the way around the loom. Snugging up as we go. Okay, kind of did that. Got a little bit twisted there. So that's all you have to do is go back in there, fix it up. You want to have really nice stitch at the base. And then when we come to the end here, we're just going to put this one over that peg, tighten, take our loom hook, and do this and just knit this over. And if it's a little too tight, you can do the one stitch over and then the next stitch. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so then once we've done that, we're going to do one row of U-wrap. And we've already wrapped this peg and then one row of pearl just for the base here. So I'm going to do the U-wrap. And the U-wrap is a very easy stitch. You're just going to go over the peg like that and knit off. Over the peg, knit off. Just like that. And we're just going to do the U-wrap all around the loom. Okay, and I'm just going to put you on pause so you don't have to watch me going all the way around the loom. 
and we will see you in a few. Okay, and now that I've done the U-wrap all around the loom, I'm going to do one row of pearl, and it's the only row of pearl in this whole hat. But it will help keep the brim nice and straight, or whatever, if you want to do a different hat than the one I'm intending this brim for, you can uh, do more pearls if you want, but this is the only pearl that you really need to do in a hat. Okay, so you should know how to do a pearl. There's lots of videos on YouTube, but I will show you. You take your hook, put it in to the loop from the top down, and then just scoop up the loop like that and take it off the peg and then just drop it on the peg. Okay, so taking the loop, pulling up the, the, the loop here, and just putting it on the peg. Okay, very easy to do really. So we just go all the way around the loom doing this stitch. Okay, so I will meet you up at the end of the row. Okay, so I've purled to the end of the row, and now we're going to do the first stitch in the brim pattern for orb stitch, and that is Jupiter stitch. And to do Jupiter stitch, we're going to take the working yarn, go in front of the peg, behind, and in front of the peg again like this, and then we're going to knit the two bottom loops over the top. And I'm just going to show you here. We're wrapping around twice, so this is the working yarn. So we're taking the loop from the bottom and the first row of the working yarn here. We're going to take both of them over and knit them off. Okay, so behind, in front, both the bottom loops, knitted over the top. Around, knit them both over the top, okay? Like a U-wrap direction. Around twice, knit the two bottom ones off. Make sure that you knit both bottom ones off. Don't knit this one over those two because you'll just get a knit stitch. You won't get ju juniper stitch. So put this in and knit it off. Okay, two loops, knit them off. You're in control of the tension because you're wrapping it. If you're too tight, you can't knit it over. Just loosen up your wrap. You're in complete control of the tension you use here. And as you can see, it goes pretty fast. You can just whip around. Okay, this is a two row stitch. This is the first row of it. So you just do first row, second row, and you keep repeating. Okay, so I'm just, I'll do one more for you, nice and slow, and then I'll put you on pause, and I'll get to the end of the Okay, I've finished the row, and I'm ready for row two. Row two is just you wrap. So you just you wrap around the loom. So that's all there is to it. You do a row of juniper stitch and then you do a row of U-wrap and then a row of juniper, a row of U-wrap and you go along until you get the brim the length that you want. So you just keep knitting like this until you get the length you want. Okay, so here's how our brim is looking. And it really is a nice stitch. I'll pull it out so you can see all the little orbs in it. But there you go. It's a very nice stitch and it looks good in a brim. So you can just keep going um, until you get it the length you want. And then you've got a, a nice brim to put on your beanie. Well, I've got the brim about the length I want for this particular hat. Now you can do a longer one if you want, but it is roughly about an inch and a half. And um, the next stitch I do on it will make it a little look a little bit longer because the pattern we're doing now is zircon stitch. 
and zircon stitch starts with a row of juniper so if you've already done a row of juniper then you can just <laughs> wait till i'm done this row for the next row so it's a row of juniper that's row one And we want a juniper after that last u wrap. <laughs> so one row of juniper. I'll just put you on pause while I go back. Okay, now we're going to do the next row to complete the zircon stitch, and that is e-wrap. So it's a row of juniper and then a row of e-wrap. And I wrap around three pegs at a time. You can wrap the whole loom if you want, or one peg at a time. Doesn't matter. However, you like to do an e-wrap. Okay, so I'm going to do that for a few rows and then we will catch up. Okay, so I did four sets of the zircon stitch. So that's eight rows. And I did it strategically with this color scheme too because it's uh, gray, pink, and gray. And then it's going into the next color. And this is where I'm going to back, go back to doing orb stitch. So I ended on an e-wrap row so that I could do Jupiter next or Juniper next. So that's what you want. You want to be constantly going as we go from one, one stitch to the other. You always be going Juniper e-wrap, Juniper e-wrap when you're doing zircon stitch. And then after you do your, your four sets of that, then you're going to be going on to the orb stitch and you'll be doing Juniper you wrap and I'm going to do the orb stitch for about the same amount of rows because I want to do it strategically with this color scheme but it's also very strategic with the length of the brim okay so I'm going to keep doing that four rows of zircon four rows of orb stitch and we're going to keep going till we get the length of hat that we want so I will meet you up when we're ready to bind off so again, what we're going to be doing is the juniper stitch for one row and then you wrap for one row because we'll be doing the orb stitch now for the four sets or the eight rows. Okay, so I'll see you when I'm ready to um, bind off the hat. Have fun. Okay, so here's how far I've done on the hat now. So we have the where I bind, bind the, where we bound on. There's the or brim then we went into the zircon stitch and then I did orb again strategically again with this gray black gray area and now I'm back into the zircon stitch here and uh, I'm long enough that I'm ready to bind off so you want to end on an e-wrap row and so you want to make sure you've done a row of e-wrap before you bind off. So make sure you go as long as you're going to go. If uh, with uh, the hat you're doing and you've got a smaller loom and a smaller stitch, you may, you may need to uh, keep going, finish off the, 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 the four rows, four sets of the zircon and go back into the orb. But just make it as long as you'd like this hat to be. So I'll take you to the bind off video since I've already done that and I know it that video worked out good with uh, me not having to go through this and and uh, have more edits so I'll take you there and then we'll look at the finished hat and then we'll be done and you'll have this hat and uh, have lots of fun doing it so we'll see you after you see how to do the bind off and uh, see you in a bit And now we can go ahead and bind it off. And I'm just going to do a uh, slightly decreased bind off so I don't get a lot of bulk. And it's pretty easy to do. 
So all we're going to do first is do a row of EWRAP. And it doesn't matter which stitch you ended with, whether you ended with the Jupiter stitch or the EWRAP. Um, it'll work fine either way. So we're just going to EWRAP nice and loose all the way around the loom. And the reason you want to keep it loose is you're going to have to move some stitches and you want to, um, them to be fairly loose to move. I just kind of gently push it to make sure I'm keeping it nice and loose. Okay, and then you're just going to knit the last one to secure it. Knit it over. And then you're just going to go around the loom and knit off the E-wrap. Okay, so I'll just put you on pause and we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that that's done, what you're going to do is you're going to go by twos all the way around the loom, and every second peg is going to go on the first peg, the, the yarn. So you're going to take it off, and you're just going to move it over to the peg before it. So just taking it off and moving it to the peg before it. And you're just going to go all the way around the loom, so you'll have two loops on peg one, Nothing, two loops on peg two, nothing, or two, two loops over here. And you're just going to keep doing that so that every, every second peg will be blank and every second peg will have the two loops on it. Okay? So if you are, are on an uneven loom, you, you won't have an even amount of pegs, so you just don't bother doing the last one. doesn't really matter. And because I kept this nice and loose, it's quite easy for me to move these over. Just awkward because the angle I have it. But Okay, so I'm going to put you on pause, and as you see um, how this is looking, and we're just going to uh, meet up when we have that done. Okay, now that you have that all done, all you're going to do is go around the loom and knit the bottom one over the top, like that. And that reduces the bulk so that your cast off and the back of your hat will lay a lot flatter. And a more. And then the one more. And there we are. And there's the working yarn coming out of this one. And then all we're going to do is, with the working yarn, <laughs> go around the loom one and a half times and just cut your yarn. Now you can either use your loom hook or a needle, and we're just going to go up and scoop up the loops so we can do a draw sting, a draw string bind off. And um, I usually use a needle, but if you were going to use your loom hook, which is easy to do with this method, you just take the yarn and pull it through like that. 
And if you have a needle, you just put the needle on and you're going to pick it up the same way. I usually use a needle. <laughs> this is so much easier though when you're you're doing doing it sometimes. On a bigger loom, I'd for sure want a needle. Okay, so I'm just going to put you on pause and we'll pick it all up and I'll see you at the beginning. Okay, now when we get all the way around, we make sure we pick up the very first stitch that we had already picked up. You want to make sure that every peg is on here. Now all you have to do is take all the pegs off the loom. You just go around and you just flip them off. I'm just holding on to the drawstring here because I want to make sure that it doesn't uh, uh, come off. And we just take them all off. And you can even do it with your fingers. And uh, there we go. All off the loom. We can just put the loom to the side. We don't need it anymore. And then you're going to take the working yarn and you're just going to draw string the brim closed. Okay, you're just going to make sure that it's all like that. And then when you get it about halfway, you're just going to take the working yarn and put it through the hat and flip it this way because um, we're going to um, finish it on the wrong side. And we just bind it up. And as you see here, it's going to be not as bulky as it would have been. We thinned that out. Okay, and now this is when we do need a needle. So I'm just going to get a needle. I have a needle in these handy dandy little thing. And also you can cut the working yarn a lot shorter. You just need to sew that close. So I'm going to cut it to about there and put the needle through the yarn or the yarn through the needle. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So that's threaded. And we're just going to sew this closed. So what I do is now that I've bound it up, is I kind of pinch it so I can see where that edge was. And then I make sure it's pulled nice and tight. There's the hole in the middle. So I just want to pinch it so I'm at that hole in the middle. And then I just take the needle and I just sort of sew around in a circle around that hole. Just picking up some loops. Okay, and then I'm going to actually do a knot and my loom wants or my yarn wants to be all weird go and I'm um, going to do another knot just want to make sure that this doesn't come apart going to go to the other side. And make another knot. And then you can sew the working yarn in 
if you'd like. Um, I just actually, because it's not going to be reversible, I just cut it and leave it. It's not going to hurt anything. It doesn't bother me. And the other side of your hat looks like this. It's, it's um, a lot thinner, but we'll take it. And we'll stretch our stitches, because that's what you always do when you uh, make a hat. As you stretch your stitches, you pull it every way and make sure it's all stretched out. And then there's your hat. It's looking really nice. The top is flattened a lot better, your beanie hat, than it would have been. And there you go. You have a, a beautiful beanie hat. Okay, so here's the hat already. Um, and it's done. It looks really nice. Here's the two different stitches. And then finally the reduced brim. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, bye.